So I was in my shop this evening goofing around as I often do and I was thinking a lot about this virus I keep hearing about, the coronavirus, and I was just wondering if there was anything I could do to make the environment in my shop here a little bit safer for me and perhaps my customers. And I began thinking about ozone and UV lamps. In fact, I happen to have a uh, one of the UV lamps here. Picked this up at a thrift store, I think. And I've always been curious about it because I, I found it hard to believe that something like this could really make that much of a difference. In fact, one of our big grocery stores in town has one at the entrance. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, how is something so small going to make any difference? I just don't know enough about it to say yay or nay, but uh, I've always been curious about it. The other thing I've been curious about are the ozone machines. A lot of people swear by these things. I've heard them say it will kill viruses, germs, molds, and some people claim they help them with their allergies. On the other hand, they've, they've had a downside too where um, some people have had these things turned up too high and they end up breathing in so much ozone it causes problems in their lungs. So uh, I'm not sure what to think about it all. But uh, I guess if you regulate the things to mimic the amount of ozone that would be found in natural air, I guess that's the whole idea. You don't want to have too much. Now, the interesting thing about the ozone is it tends to eat up rubber. In fact, I had a situation where uh, a lady brought in a VCR for repair, and I changed all the belts on it. And I'll never forget, she came in uh, a year later needing the same thing, and I was trying to figure out how that would be possible. And then I realized the woman was a retailer for uh, ozone generators and she had um, she had one running in the house all the time and it ate right into the rubber and I was so curious about it that I did a little experiment I took a latex glove like this I put it in a little chamber with an ozone machine and about a half an hour later the rubber in the glove decayed to the point where it would crack when you touched it so uh, ozone does definitely eat into rubber so uh, it makes me wonder, you know, if it'll do that to rubber, maybe I don't want to breathe too much of it in. Now, I, I took out one of the grids that came out of this ozone machine here, and I thought it was kind of interesting to see how they do this. Basically, what they do is they have a, a high voltage going to each side of this grid here, and it's like a screen on the outside there, and it's separated by a piece of mica, ceramic, or in some places, they use glass. And what they do is by high they apply a high voltage to each side of this and because it's got the insulator in between it doesn't arc over but it tends to glow a purplish blue uh, it produces what they call a corona and that corona once it uh, has air going over it it pass I'm sorry once the once the air goes over the corona it produces um, ozone and uh, I guess it produces a little bit of a toxic gas as well but not enough to be a problem because there's a certain amount of nitrogen in the air as well, so it's going to produce some oxides of nitrogen. Anyway, for the fun of it, I wanted to see if I could build one of these things on my own, and I happened to find this transformer out of an old bug light, much like this one here, and I thought, you know, this one looks just like the ozone transformer I found in this ozone machine right here, so I'm going to see what happens if I hook it up to a grid, and sure enough, it produces ozone the same way an ozone machine does. Now the transformer I used here is a 3,300 volt AC uh, output at 10 milliamps. And that's a high enough current to kill bugs, but uh, probably wouldn't kill a human. On the other hand, I wouldn't want to touch it and find out what it does to my fingers. Um, again, it probably wouldn't be lethal or anything, but uh, you know, you just want to use caution if you're experimenting like this. Um, I know a lot, some people like to experiment with microwave transformers. Those are extremely dangerous. They're, uh, they'll put out up to a half an amp. At half an amp, at a high enough voltage, can kill you dead real quick. Anyway, uh, just thought it might make an interesting uh, conversation, talk a little bit about ozone and the uh, UV lamps as well. Perhaps some of my viewers know more about this than I do. You'd like to throw in your two cents there. Um, the other thing I was going to say about the, uh, the whole virus thing is I think that uh, you know if there's anything you can do for your health, Probably the, it would be to eat better, stay away from the junk food, and uh, you know exercise a little. I know for myself, uh, I'm a little bit of a nutrition freak because I, I tend to feel a lot better when I eat right. And uh, when I see the kind of things other people eat, I'm kind of horrified sometimes. You know, I wonder why more people haven't died actually. Anyway, for what it's worth, I just thought I'd make a quick video on that. 
As always, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. This, this is strange, you know, it's got a, a filament in there. But the filament isn't really glowing. It looks like it's primarily the gas that's, that's glowing. Must be getting a little bit warm. But, uh, huh. how could something like that kill viruses? I mean, something so small like that. Weird. <laughs>